Amy Medford with Bedford Knife and Tool. I have a shipment headed to Robert King at Red Hill Tactical. Robert, I hope you're feeling well. Um, I'm not gonna talk much because I'm gonna let the knives do the talking in this video. They're amazing. Let's dive down and see what we have. Okay, Praetorian Slim. I have one Tonto. This one is uh, Robert's personal carry. It's a very, very subtle logo. It's their Red Hill Tactical photo, or I'm sorry, logo, and it has a, uh, let me let me turn it to me for a second. So it's got kind of their pinup girl sitting on the side of a tank, and you can see the RH, RHT engraved on the front of it. It's really hard to fit their logo with all the details, especially this one, um, onto such a small knife, but we did the best we could. I hope you like it, Robert. This is your personal carry. Enjoy it, carry it well. Uh, the other two Praetorian Slim on the table. Oh no, I take that back. I have a drop point and a Tonto for sale here, it looks like. This one is kind of the paint splatter. It's got a blue field in the background, blue anodized spring and flamed clip. The third one is Tonto as well. It's got a beautiful falling leaf with a violet to bronze fade. It's been faced. It's just so delicate and so beautiful. I love this. I was nervous that on such a small knife it wouldn't carry well, but it certainly does. 187 Flipper, faced and flamed. It's got the starry, starry night look to it. Just beautiful. Tumble D2 Blade, we did a few of these. Not very many, so if you're a fan of the tumbled finish, um, this is a nice selection for you, faced and flamed clip. Uh, we ran a couple Warthog, or actually these, are, I don't think these are Warthog. These are Warhawk. And they're the middies, so the full thickness middies. I have one blue anodized. And one tumbled, and if I'm not mistaken, oh yeah, it's on both sides. A really cool, unique laser engraving uh, project we did here. I did these, and then Robert saw I had done them and asked if he could have them. So it has flamed hardware and flame clip. Just a really cool tactical approach here. I love that it's on both sides. And then we have a few other faced and flamed uh, knives here. This is the Barung with the bottle opener, and that's why the clip probably looks out of place on the handle, but it is put there intentionally because of the bottle opener. A PVD breaker, or I would say back strap in this case, it's not necessarily a breaker. It's got a beautiful bead blasted muted blue spring. So just a fantastic barung with the bottle opener, clip on the opposing side, faced and flamed. Praetorian Genesis T S35 Tumble Tonto with the faced and flaming. NP3 breaker, tumbled spring faced and flamed clip. And then I'm gonna skip one and we'll go back to the super sexy knives at the very end. This is a Proxima. Again, the face and flaming on it. Blue anodized spring or not or locking side and the face and flamed clip. All right, so now we're gonna jump into the super high end. These are I don't know, 1500 plus, 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 plus. This one here is the uh, dimpling that we've started up doing. Greg did one of these on a Marauder, I wanna say maybe six years ago, and occasionally I get requests for it. It is a very time-consuming, beautiful dimpled effect. I almost call it cobblestone. It could be raindrops, I don't know what you would call it, but it's just absolutely fantastic, mind-blowing. PVD uh, hardware breaker and clip, and this is a Praetorian Genesis tie. So a full thickness blade Genesis tie. Absolutely stunning. And then Robert has three of the S90V Marauders. Um, he had requested certain finishes on all three of them. I hope that I did not let him down. I'm sure I didn't. On the first one, it's the uh, S90V Tumble Tonto blade. Peaks and valleys. It has kind of that cement blue violet down in the recesses and brushed silver on the peaks or on the flats, I would say. The second one is what we are calling stained glass. Really large facets on it. I think uh, my sculpting specialist, Fish, would call this extra large peaks and valleys, but I think stained glass is a really cool description of it. It's bronze faced on the flats and bee blasted a very subtle violet down in the valleys brushed and flamed clip and flamed hardware. And the last one, another dimpled, this Marauder here. I wouldn't be surprised if Robert wants to keep this for himself. It's a dual, it's a project here. 
It was um, our sculpting specialist in conjunction with our laser specialist and they did a project together. It's got the skull samurai mask on it and it has the dimpling effect fading out to the laser engraving. Bronze to violet, full dimpling on the spring side. I mean, I don't even know what to say about this. I'm just amazed. So, Robert, prepare to have your mind blown when you get your hands on these knives. I know you're really excited. I know you've been uh, uh, in the hospital and out, and I hope you are healing up well. I hope you're doing well. I hope your business is doing well. I'm not sure uh, when everybody's open up for business again, but I hope it's very soon. I hope you're all safe. Please reach out to Robert King at Red Hill Tactical. He's in Hagerstown, Maryland. Telephone number 301. 707-7972. Keep watching the videos, please. And until the next time, I'm out.